Hey guys, Clover here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are sponsored by Dragonair Silent Gods and we'll be featuring this game uh, on the channel for today since it's their launch on Steam platform. On the Steam platform, they have already been globally launched. I'll tell you guys all about that in a little bit, but first things first. Steam platform. If you have Steam, you can definitely play the game on the 26th of October starting at 7 p.m. PST or if you are my time zone, that's at 2 a.m on the 27th okay 2 a.m gmt uh, on the 27th you can definitely check that i'll have links down in the description and comments of the video to find the download link to try out the game this is a really really cool looking game it's an open world exploring type rpg game where you're collecting heroes and going through and it does have some um i would say DD &D elements within it I'll, I'll show you guys right now just to get an idea not only you can just explore through uh, the open world that the game provides it also has over 200 champions heroes to collect through and build them with how you like build them in order to beat specific dungeons and encounters within this huge world that the game provides and as well you have your main character your main hero who you slowly develop you could put some character elements to him that might be different from other players such as attributes you put your attributes differently um, intelligence dexterity uh, charisma and 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 so on and then you go over to his identity and you can select a different identity where your character will be focusing on different things like for mine i picked the archaeologist where his knowledge is better for solving puzzles and investigating throughout the map and that also helps you get some uh, goodies along the way i can explain that in just a second this game has been globally launched already in september okay globally launched already in september and has over 10 million downloads since since that time it's just crazy it's featured on the leaderboards in terms of downloads as number one for over 13 regions which is kind of crazy and it's already available on the epic game store on mac ios you know my phone has it as well i play it on my phone and on android devices as well this game was featured during the wwdc earlier this year to just show on how good it works with apple devices apple i think creates this wwc every year and it just shows how dragonair has adapted to Only apple's technology so well so if you waters. do have an apple device don't worry the game will play perfectly on there as well and you can also link your account progress through all available platforms and devices as well as steam dragonair by the way is not the first game that newverse the company that created this game has made they have already made another blockbuster game called marvel snap that was launched i think in 2022 and was the game of the year so you know that this company uh, means business when they have introduced their second game in line and has already so many downloads going back into the game let me show you what dragonair has to offer this is how the main character camp looks like but when you are strolling around through the open world there's lots of things to do lots of different maps to explore and encounters to beat so i'll give you guys just an example let's have a, a jump to a different area like the main area right here well where we're gonna go and see if we can beat the goblins lair this is one of the dungeons where you gain experience to level up your heroes you can walk through with your main character and as you go you might find some different quests and talk to different npcs non-playing characters and and just do different quests as you move through the the main story you can pick up these things which might be some loot used for cooking cooking is what you do to create some potions which makes your team stronger for different encounters like your fire element um it can do more damage or your lightning element can do more damage getting more accuracy in order to land your debuffs and become stronger and be things like the goblin's lair the goblin's lair is exactly what you hear it's the tons of goblins and you gotta beat them as soon as possible the faster you beat them the more rewards you'll get so this is like a difficult encounter we are at maximum level level 100 on the enemies and mostly most of my team has level 100 as well so we're gonna go in there and start beating on the goblins you can see the ultimate skill bars there on the right where we can use them and target specific enemies at the right time okay we target them and there's my one ultimate and then i'll use my main character and drop a big fire 
blast there in the middle and just kill everything. Then I can choose my other ultimates, even my lightning ultimate right there. And then I can use my tag to drop their attack and defense a little bit uh, as we push through. There's also an auto mode if you want to play it. But honestly, for the more difficult encounters, you have to go manual because this is not an easy game. It will test your skills in terms of strategizing and making the best out of different elements like fire, poison, ice, um, lightning, radiant and necrosis. OK, there's different elements with different synergies with them together. And those synergies provide some strategy behind every single encounter where every single character skills will fit into beating it. So you won't just build five heroes and be able to beat everything in the game. You'll need to build proper teams with different elements for each encounter so that you have the most optimal experience and be able to push to the hardest difficulty. Like right now, I can't even beat this on the, the three dots mark here, the three glowing marks there, because I'm relatively slow in terms of clearing it. It means that I could optimize it a little bit better in order to clear it on three, uh, the three glowing dots there, and that would provide me even more rewards by the end uh, of the run, which we're probably gonna have. Uh, come on, kill it! If we can manage to kill it, yeah, there we go. I get the two out of uh, three glowing dots there in terms of completion. I still get some rewards, but not the most rewards I could have gotten from that completion. That is just one example of a run that you can do within this game. Another big part of the game is just going through the main commissions that you have every single day to get some experience and get your levels up. So we're going to have to talk to this locked up goblin. I heard you have a request for me. Adventure, <laughs> won't you help this poor goblin? You're in here swindling and stealing both gave me no end in trouble in the past. And these kind of quests are, you know, you'll find them every single day that you'll be playing the game. What do you need me to do? Let me see. Okay. There's different decisions, by the way, that you do um, within the game as you talk through and, and push through these smaller quests. So this one wanted me to give him some of my uh, crafting ores. And I think, yeah, pretty easy quest to do. And, and it just gave us, you know, a little bit more of a journey experience. These are, are the smaller parts of the game that you can experience as you're traveling through. There's different puzzles, by the way, also that you might need to solve where you also need to roll dice. And if you're lucky enough, and, and have that, you know, it's the D&D &D element, right? As I explained earlier. And if you're lucky enough and get a perfect roll, then you get some solid rewards. And uh, by the way, there's also summons. In order to acquire these like fancy and cool looking heroes, experience. there's summons that you can get 100% um, for free within the game. And there's uh, also many different other things that you can do within the game to acquire heroes, such as completing the main story quest to get a legendary hero. So let's ha just have a look at one of the summons that I'll do right now. Uh, let's let me just show you on how the animation and everything looks Boom, there it is just this cool animation. You're gonna see the big stone and we get a rare hero What is it gonna be and it's uh, this guy right here Zethos the mountain keeper. He's frost element He's looking good, but I have him already so that duplicate has become uh, you know 60 of essence of creation which I use for different parts uh, of the game uh, such as pushing my gear to the next level so guys, this was the video on Dragonair Silent Goals. Definitely check out the game. I'll have a link down below in the description and comments of this video to play the game on Steam. It globally launches, as I said, again, uh, on the 26th of October, 7 p.m. PST or 2 a.m. GMT if you are my time zone on the 27th. Definitely check it out. Thank you all. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.